we are live. All right. Welcome, everybody, to tonight's episode of A World on Fire, where we last left off. The party was traveling towards Shilk's hometown when Rowan had a out-of-body experience talking to Paylor, the Dawn Father. Um... And he told her to go somewhere else. Uh, and she tried to steer everybody off to that way before she was convinced that Shilk's hometown was closer. So they'll go there first. And Shilk guided uh, Axiom through the mountains to a hidden mountain valley uh, where his hometown resides. Uh, however, as it came into view, found that the entire city had been reduced to rubble. They found, uh, an area to land, uh, the remains of a theater area, uh, and landed the ship, uh, not too gracefully, I might add and went about looking for survivors. Uh, look, while they were looking for survivors, they found uh, some strange creatures that tried to capture Rowan and Chilk. However, Rowan easily dispatched all but one of them. It was an accident. <laughs> and... Upon finding out that these creatures uh, aren't much of a threat, they decide to speak with the creatures, or the creature, I guess, and have him lead them towards another band of these creatures, who Shilk basically uh, coerced into following him. And they did that throughout the city until they had a nice little band of waist-high barbaric creatures uh, that, as they were speaking to them, found out that these creatures referred to themselves as goblin because of all the food that they gobble. They also uh, went into a cave, specifically Rowan went into a cave, that the goblins... Uh, referred to as the home to the Howler, uh, to find a hairy creature uh, that sobbed and tried to sing but was horribly out of tune. And upon speaking with the creature, Rowan learned that the creature seems to have some semblance uh, of what their life was like before they were turned into this hairy creature. Uh, they seem to have been some kind of famous singer and brought a uh, blindfolded Axiom and I think Vanya also went with um, yeah. in order to try and see if they could remove a curse, if this was a curse. Uh, it didn't work, but they were able to convince this creature, who they have named Grace, to come aboard their ship. She can stay holed up in one of the cabins as nobody needs to see her, and they were able to cast invisibility on her so that nobody saw her when she on her way to the ship. And so we pick back up. Uh, Grace has shut herself into her new quarters. Um, I believe Saga and Shilk were left with the goblins. I'm not sure where Amity is. Um, probably taking notes on the goblins. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> and I believe Gesh was also in that area where Saga and Shilk were having a rock fight with the goblins. I know you didn't go with uh, Rowan and the other two, so that's all that really left it.
So, what would the party like to do? We can say that you guys reconvene back at the cave entrance, if you like. Sure. Yeah. Then you do so. You're all standing in front of the cave that Grace used to live. Do we want to, like, go check out the cave to see what else is in there? I wouldn't mind looking around. Hmm? Alright. As you guys head into the cave, check it out. Go ahead and... Are uh, we going spelunking? <laughs> go ahead and just make a perception check. I will in a second once my roll 20 Me low. too. <laughs> we in for roll 20. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Vanya, yes. as you guys are searching around the caves, uh, you come to the chamber where you guys had spoken with Grace. Uh, and you notice a uh, glint off in the corner, and as you walk over, you see uh, the remains of what look uh, to have been a uh, silver-framed mirror, which has been shattered as if thrown against the wall. Is there anything peculiar about the mirror, or does it look like a normal mirror? Looks like a normal mirror. <laughs> okay. A broken mirror. I'm assuming Grace saw herself and then threw it. That's a good assumption. Go back to the group. Yep, nothing else of note in the cave. What else? Party like the tail. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys have any luck? With 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 what? With curse? Well, I, no. I saw you come out of the cave and go to the ship and come back. I'm curious why. Oh, we found someone in there who has some issues, and we brought them to the we brought them to the ship. You couldn't see them because they were invisible, and now they're in the large room on the ship. Don't don't go in there. No, please don't go in yeah. there. <laughs> we promised her no one would. Who is this mm -hmm. person? Her name is Grace. <laughs> Yeah. Why did you turn them invisible and bring them to the ship? And why did you put them in my room? I, well, uh, shook. Very, very big. Very and large. they're not exactly happy with how they look. Mm -hmm. And would rather people did not see them. But why my room? Because it was it, the biggest. It was the largest room, yeah. How many rooms are on that ship? Um, I think I originally counted out, like, 
like eight specific cabins and then like an area for like general crew quarters for like hammocks and stuff. Great, now I have no room. We will you figure can... out the logistics when we get Say, back. Or now, take... it's a temporary <laughs> solution. You can take my room, I'll crash with Amity or Rowan. Rowan doesn't sleep anyway, I'll crash with Rowan. <laughs> it, that feels that is... fair since this was mostly Rowan's fault. Fine. What? What do you mean? It's not like that bed's being used anyway. I mean, I sit on it. What's fine? I'll sit on the floor. You're the bed. I'm not that big. <laughs> sit on top of you when you're sleeping. <laughs> Just meditate on top of Vanya. On top of Vanya, yeah. In tune to Vanya's struggling breathing. <laughs> <laughs> so Rowan has become the cat of the crew. <laughs> All right. So, are we ready to go? Where are we going from here? I believe... Shook, you wanted to track down these bloodheads or whatever they're called? Yeah, but I think we need to plan for that. Hmm. That's the plan. None of these idiots know anything about them. Uh, I think idiots is putting it lightly. <laughs> yeah, they are idiots, aren't they, Opera Cell? <laughs> <laughs> I would say we could ask Grace, but she has an issue with talking to people who... I guess we could do like a through-the-door conversation. I suspect she doesn't know anything. Have you tried asking? I have not. I mean... Just because they don't want to be social and talk to people does not mean they haven't heard or seen anything. I believe you guys actually did ask her, uh, but she just kind of told you the same information. That was. Hmm. we have any indication of what direction we need to go in the goblins told you south but there's a lot mm. of continent to the south <laughs> there is yeah. mm -hmm. unless y'all want to like use the ship and do like scan for other forms of like goblins <laughs> or wherever they are don't think that's how <laughs> I'm just spitballing here I was gonna say I don't know if that's how it works I'm dumb yeah I, I feel like uh axiom would know that's not how it works <laughs> I mean if anything we could at least have an aerial view to look for any structures maybe I mean, were covered by trees. I mean, our options are either trying to find it through the air or trying to find things on foot, and neither are exactly perfect. Mm hmm. 
We could split up a little bit, though. Cover more ground that way. I do have access to locate creature, if that helps. Don't you have to know more about the creature in order to find it? That, that, that is a good question, Mike. If it is a creature similar to Shulk, would it just give me Shulk's location or another creature's location? <laughs> Uh, I, I believe you would have to be more familiar with it. It's the same thing with, like, locate object looking for, like, like a, like a, like a book. Like, you're going to get a book. You're, you're going to get, like, you know, all the books in li in the library. Uh, you need to know the specific name of the book you're looking for to know where it is in the library. But I don't have to be explicitly, like, familiar with it? No, but you need to know if who you're like looking for. So if I have, like, a name or something, that would yeah. narrow it down. Yeah, if you had a name, that would narrow it down. Yeah. So, like, I guess main thing is, like, Shulk, do you know any notable people who could help narrow this search down? No. All right. Shulk, so, were they here recently? Okay, uh, what, let me ask... All right. They... Any of you five right here? Goblins. <laughs> Actually, any of you twenty. We'll compile our heads. Any of you in the general area that can hear me speak have the bloodheads been here recently? They kind of like stare at you. And then stare at each other. Jesus Christ. And then stare at you. And then, uh, they just all kind of give you the same, I don't know. <laughs> Is there like a famous bloodhead or something? I don't know. Is there one that's most known for being bloody? Or heady? Oh. Uh... <laughs> Maybe, maybe the one that wouldn't let us come with. What? <laughs> what even is this conversation? Yeah, the the guy, the the the, the one in charge of the bloodheads. He he didn't want us to come with. That's that's why we're here. The rejects. <laughs> We just kind of stayed behind because they didn't want us. <laughs> Great, we got the loser goblins. <laughs> yeah, it's a goblin army. Oh my god, we got the rejects. Okay. Well, Literally, yeah, I put these guys in the allied section under the name Reject Legion. <laughs> <laughs> we got the goblins that eat their lunch in the bathroom on the first day of school. <laughs> Okay, so these are the guys who got picked last in PE. Swarm of goblins. No, these are the guys who didn't get picked in PE. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're just, right. the, teacher then, the teacher then just assigns them to a team because no one wants to pick them. Oh, uh, yeah. Jo Josh saw this because he's, uh, he's got DM privileges, but letting you guys know, uh, if you guys do bring these guys into combat in mm -hmm. order to simplify it, they're Instead of swarm. having just a shit ton of goblins, I just made a single swarm. stat flag, a single stop block. Yeah, I can't talk. Stat block called swarm of goblins. <laughs> How much HP does the swarm of goblins have as a totality? Uh, like eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. Okay. And they can yeah. engulf things. <laughs> yeah. I basically <laughs> just reskinned a uh, shambling mound creature. Oh. Amazing, iconic. I love uh. it. I would right. have to bring them into combat. <laughs> All right, I've got a new plan. <laughs> so, can we go? Can we go to wherever it was that they were at, where the other goblins were taken? From there, I yeah. might be able to Bonnie, find some tracks. I tried tracks. asking this already because they didn't know where they were taken from, because they just kept. Pointing around, and around, and around. And oh my forth. god. Oh my god. Uh, 
if anyone would like to, I guess they can make an insight check to, to try and understand what that might have meant. <laughs> I would like to make that yeah, insight that's, check. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. uh, insight. Oh, well, there. The Godfather! The Godfather? <laughs> <laughs> you changed your name, you son of a bitch. <laughs> It makes sense that the Godfather rolls a 28. Uh, I didn't even fucking underlings. notice that. All right. Um, yeah. Shilk, as yeah. you're saying it, you realize, oh, they were all taken from the ruined city, this whole place. All of, uh, all, all of the bloodheads are from this city. Uh, okay. I've narrowed it down. Uh, right? To where? Okay. The whole city. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know what? I can work with that. <laughs> yeah. We can... The, I... Can you Wait, can... Vanya, can you turn into a radar? A living radar? <laughs> Only for beasts and fiends. Oh, right. And I don't want to try and ask them if they had any animals with them. <laughs> I don't imagine that going well. To, to be fair, it, it gives us a starting point to then narrow it down. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, I can now, like, start looking. I'm gonna start pacing around the ruins and see if I can see any sort of signs of, like, a struggle and tracks leading in a certain direction with a group of people, a group of goblins, that may not have been wanting to go in the direction they are being dragged in. Oh, my All right. lord. We're never gonna and find any um, goblins. <laughs> any evidence you, of heads you do that for plenty. several hours. <laughs> you, find find you find several uh, points of conflict, uh, but ignore them as you uh, as you realize that the, the conflict was just between the various gangs of rejects in these worlds. <sighs> uh, you find no trace of uh, any large amount of movement that might have happened inside of the ruins. So you get the sense it might have happened a while ago. Oh, stumble, stumble my way back into the ruins from the woods. All right. It's been a long time. I, I will point out, out no woods. You're in the mountain. I'm in a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I was so convinced that there was uh, foliage of some kind. Um, I, get, I pop back up into the ruins. Okay, I found nothing. The only signs of struggle recently have been between themselves. So there okay. is nothing to go on. I think it's been a minute. It's been a while since the other goblins were taken. I've got uh, nothing. <laughs> wait, what What if... Uh, because these were the rejects. What if they weren't taken? But they were recruited, so it was willing. Hmm. Sort of like a, uh, almost like a promotion, if you will. What's that? Wait. I will. I will explain the concept of promotion briefly. In that you rise in the ranks of a group. Whether it be like as a tribe being promoted from like commoner to chieftain. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but probably. What <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck? <laughs> the ruins. Did I see any signs of like some kind of mass movement of goblins in a certain direction? Aside from at each other. <laughs> well, there are mountain passes leading out of this valley. None of them look even uh, any more used than any other. They all look pretty well-traveled. Cool. I will point out, though, that uh, there's only one leading south. So that helps. I relay right. that information. 
That right, seems like a safe bet since they said that they were south. Yeah. If there's only one exit going south, that does at least give us an option. Yeah, gives us a place to start. We should go that way. Alright. On, on our way over there, we'll pass by the ship, tell Kato that, hey, I was gonna, gonna say, be, uh, we should maybe we go. Should, <laughs> we should let Kato know that, like, hey, we're gonna be a while. Should it, you know, keep an eye on the guest. It's in the large room that Shulk usually stays in. Well, he, we told him that already. Yeah. Yeah, you guys said that last week. <clears throat> Um, we're like, like we're gonna be leaving the area. <laughs> yeah, you can see as you walk up to the ship, um, kind of like what looks like sparks flying off the top of the ship. And where the fuck did he get? <laughs> I'm not asking any questions of Kato. <laughs> we died now. No, no, please investigate it. I'm really proud of what I came up with. <laughs> no, 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 no! Mike gets- Anya's, No! Anya doesn't care. <laughs> I don't know what this No, I grabbed Axie when we're going away. I'm like, let's go! We're going! I want to know. No, you don't get to know. No one gets to know. Mike doesn't get to be proud of anything when it comes to Kato. Fuck you! Wow. <laughs> I want to know what the fuck you behavior. I really want to know here. Someone is still salty as hell. I will forever I saw be salty! <laughs> I thought we cleared this up. Holy no, shit. We did not. <laughs> we did not. Uh, so Gesh will ask. Say, I, I was going to say, as we were walking away, I would poof Watcher up there to look well, at what he was doing. Well, first off, he'll ask why you guys want to go on foot when we have a flying airship that would cover ground a lot faster as well as, well as give us a uh, high vantage point. I thought we can't fix it while we're working on it. I don't really know what, what we're looking for. We can't for. fix it while we're using it, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, maybe nobody caught on, Josh, what? <laughs> I mean, I'm just making some general repairs that, like, it can fly without them. It can just wait until the next time we land. Alright. That's actually fair. I mean, we just don't know also, what we're what looking the... for. Also, what problem. did he do? Like, how the fuck? Like, what did he make Giver together? <laughs> All right. Uh, as you as you kind of like uh try to like maneuver around the ship to see how he's uh fixing the ship, you see he's um taken some like rusty scrap metal from the ruins uh mm -hmm. and placed it covering one of the holes in the ship. And he's been welding it onto the ship using a apparatus that he had constructed using a, a diamond that he keeps uh, on him in case he needs to revivify somebody uh, by mm -hmm. constantly casting sacred flame into Man's the just diamond. Reflecting, refracting the fucking. Oh, Amazing. oh my god. <laughs> Show off. That's, great. that's actually that's actually pretty fucking smart, actually. That's Thank clever. you. <laughs> like I said, I'm very proud about it. <laughs> that you, is... you should be. Thank you. Yeah. you. You're using some <laughs> fundamental science facts to your advantage. Yep. <laughs> All right. So uh, if we do take the airship, what are we even looking for from the air? That is, that is a good question. Like, that's my only hesitation with going over air instead mm -hmm. of over foot. Over foot, it's easier to figure out signs of okay. what we're looking for in the air. Wouldn't have a clue. I hate I hate to ask this of you, Shulk, but could you could you perhaps translate a what do your buildings usually look like? Well, Shulk, what did your buildings used to look like? Much better than this. 
Well, what? Well, what do theirs look like? The uh, these bloodheads. Like I'm assuming they're a subsect of this goblin tribe. Whatever. Like. I'm assuming none of the rejects have also been there because they were rejected. Also fair. I doubt the G team over here has any idea. Oh, uh, this is the F team. <laughs> fair. Doing their best. Their best just is not. But there are B team. <laughs> are are we the uh, A team? We're the A team. Okay. Just checking. Uh, yeah. From, from what I know of the uh, alphabet, it makes the most sense. Yes, that's yeah. fair. Oh god, okay. I'm just waiting for Mike to just have renamed them the B team. <laughs> I mean, I no, can no, also no. rename them. That's too boring. <laughs> I like my it's name, just... the Rejected Legion. Yeah, much better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Fair. You know, I have a question. Sure. Mm -hmm. How low can we fly? I mean, so long That's as we don't start hitting trees. <laughs> Or We're not mountains. in the jungle. <laughs> yeah, or mountains, as you yeah. are in mountainous terrain. Um, well, that that's kind of up to your pilot how low they're willing to fly. Uh, I will point out the uh, air conditions flying around are a, ro a lot rougher. Directly mm -hmm. next to mountains, because of wind shear coming off of the mountains. Well, actually, a thing to, I know to, all about. To, to be fair, Mike is a pilot here, so he has probably already figured out the DCs for this in general. That's why I'm asking yeah. questions. I'm assuming it would mostly just be me making wisdom checks, wouldn't it? Yeah, because you'd be trying to fight against the turbulence. But that's pretty much it. It would just be very kind of choppy air flying through. Plus, you would have to maneuver a lot because mountains. I mean. So, while it would be faster distance wise to travel by <laughs> air. I feel like our ability to locate whatever encampment we're looking for is going to be severely impaired. It would just be up, it would just be up to me on how we would fly and So as long as you don't crash us I'm fine. Yeah. That does give me an idea. It's like, I, aside from me, is there anyone else who can do guidance? Kato. Okay. So we could have Kato nearby, just in case we approach any more difficult, like a more difficult to navigate area. Consider he's going to be sitting like probably to the left of me anyway. Ah, I, li I like our odds. I'm not going to lie. I got a good feeling, to some degree. Uh, just Unless for... anybody else has any objections. I don't have any objections. I just have an idea since Rowan, I think, mentioned it a little bit already. Um, mm -hmm. Can I try my primeval awareness mic and just see if there's, like, I'm looking for odd clusters of beasts. Okay. If that makes sense. Sure. Within five miles, focusing in on the south, because I don't really care what's happening north of me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, you spend a minute, use your prime move awareness, uh, looking for beasts, and uh, other than some small groupings of beasts around the ruins itself, you do not sense any. Mm -hmm. Then I guess let's get in the air and see what happens. All right. We can try it.
I'll take oh, the usual okay. spot at the helm, and everybody can get into position. Somebody probably should warn our guest ahead of time. All right, load the goblins into the cargo bay. I don't like it. I don't like it, but we're going to have to... Uh... Where else are we going to put them? <laughs> There's not another <laughs> empty room on this ship? There's the crew quarters. Because there's bad. a hole in the in the. <laughs> there sure is a hole in the cargo. Blown right? out of the cargo hole. <laughs> if we go That's too fair. far, or they're gonna right. jump out or trip, like. The goblins are small. They can they can fit three to a hammock. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's we'll put them in the in the crew quarters then. They'll be fine. crew quarters and like probably give them a couple crates for like. They'll be fine. For them to call home. <laughs> All right. turn, some, turn some crates open on their sides so they can have like places to to bunk unless they don't like the hammocks. You who who was my buddy from last week? What was his name? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't think I wrote it down. Literally I, I tried to remember what, what I called the goblins and I couldn't remember <laughs> a single goblin name. His name was like Glub. Glub, Sounds yeah. That's Glub. That's, yeah, sure. Glub. All right, yeah, it was Glub. Glub is joining us. In, in Glub is the de facto leader now. Yeah, he's the de facto leader. Oh god, poor Glub. Okay, he's, he, he just... got a promotion. Is I'm it? Gonna... Hey, he's I'm using the gonna... word he just learned. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna put it out there, Shulk, that like you and Glub are gonna be in charge of keeping that room clean. Glub, you're in charge of keeping that room clean. <laughs> you gotta feed them, you gotta walk them, you gotta keep their room clean. <laughs> just swarm. I wanna watch them swarm something bigger than them and vibrate it to death. Oh my god, <laughs> they're not <laughs> You wanna see them use that engulf move? <laughs> Literally, all I can think of is bees attacking killer wasps. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, that is fair. Ew. All right, you guys heard the chaos that is the goblins onto the ship. It's like trying to hurt. It, it, it's it's like trying to herd a bunch of preschoolers onto a bus. <laughs> it's all right. We'll just uh, weave a trail of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece we of candy. We could probably just use Ooh. jerky, like anything, really. Crumbs of bread. <laughs> well, I, I'll give Kato the look as this happening. Like, I, I don't know, man. It, it was, it was, it was Shulk's idea. And this was you actually see Kato has like a slight smirk on his face, like he finds this r really wholesome. <laughs> he would. Any damage that happens to those crew quarters is, is your responsibility. Show. It's coming out of your pay. We don't get paid. <laughs> All right, Glub, you've been promoted. Pro, pro, promoted? What? Prom close enough. You're is you're it... in charge of the outside of that room. They're not allowed to come out. Wait, who's gonna keep them in then? You. What? <laughs> <laughs> they don't listen to me. They will now. You're in charge. All right, hang on. And I'm gonna go with him <laughs> to the crew quarters. Okay. Just gonna poke in. Peek you can in. See, I guess. It's already become a room of chaos. No, it's fine. They're like. Swinging around on lighting fixtures, running around at a thousand miles a second. Alright, everybody be quiet for ten seconds. Club is in the, charge. You get the sense that they don't hear you over the din of their own chaos. Oh god. <laughs> Okay. This was a 
This was a very good idea in the short term. <laughs> You know what? I'm just gonna close the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You close the door. They seem fine. Just if any of them come out, come get me. I could. Okay. Can't I lock... Question, Mike. Can't I lock doors? Yep. From my chair. You sure can. Oh, good. They're not leaving <laughs> whether or not I, whether they like it or not. <laughs> All right. So as you power up the ship, you lock the uh, the goblins in their room. Yep. And you start rising up back into the air. So we're just covering like the southern direction, as far as we could tell, looking for any like goblin-esque structures. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We will head in that direction, trying All to right. get as low as trying to get as low as possible without like yeah. hitting a tree or like a mountain to give ourselves a good enough view. Or another ship. I'm assuming like or. Why would there be another ship? You don't know. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you travel south, uh, following the mountain pass, using it as a guideline uh, to pass through the mountains. Uh, I do need you to make a wisdom check in order to maneuver your way through the mountains uh, with an added D4, thanks to Kato. Fifteen. <laughs> All right. You just barely managed to uh, control the ship and push your way through the the choppy air. There is a lot of turbulence. A lot of shaking as you're going, as you fly through the mountains at the, the ship's current speed. To, to be fair, this was built for spatial travel, not terrestrial. <laughs> well, it's actually pretty fast. You guys just don't have a... Uh, you, you just don't have the engines at 100%. Yeah. <clears throat> Soon. One day. One day. <laughs> anyway... Um, yeah, so you travel <clears throat> through the mountains, um, following the mountain pass, and, uh, you continue for a while, um, actually into the next day, having found no trace of any creatures that pass through this way. And, uh, you eventually get, uh, to the edge of the mountains on this second day of travel and find that the mountains just seem to dip down into a wasteland, like, uh, just stretching off towards the south, uh, to the end of the horizon, you just see what looks like a gray, barren land. Uh, you also see, uh, to your east, past some of the mountains, mm -hmm. you see a, uh, what looks to be a, um, water channel inlet that seems to come into, uh, the land. And to the southwest, uh, you see a incredibly high mountain that stretches so high up into the sky that you can't see the top of the mountain past the cloud layer. Okay. So... 
sort of plan. Sort of ask Shilk, uh, let, let's say, sort of go between Shilk and Glove. It's like, if, if I were a tribe of goblins, in your best judgment as to how these idiots might operate, where do you think they might settle? To be honest, I don't know much about them. Granted, you have the most contact with these people, actually, sort of gesturing to, like, Glub. Well, Glub's not on the deck. Yeah, mm -hmm. I left him at the door. Yeah, he's on guard yeah. duty, basically. <laughs> he's guarding a locked door. Yep. yep. <laughs> he doesn't know he's locked. locked. He got a promotion. It'll keep him out of the way, at least. <laughs> okay. Basically, if you if you were in charge of a bunch of idiots, where would you put them? On a ship. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, <laughs> have I ever said how much I love having you as a player? <laughs> I love it, but god damn it. <laughs> so fucking proud of that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ask ask me again. <laughs> okay. If you were in if you were in charge of I guess a tribe of like the bloodheads, where would you put them? Either in like mountains, in like sort of a wasteland near like area. Well, I guess it depends on how defensible they want to be. If they climb up a mountain, it's harder to get to unless they can fly. Mm -hmm. Can they fly? No. I hope not. I don't think so. I mean, were any of your people capable of flight other than, like, the people that through magic? Spells? Oh. Yeah. Besides magic. <laughs> no. I guess if you had flight, you would have probably conquered most of the world. <laughs> But we are not. If you wanted to, we're very peaceful. Except for my brother. He was I, the drunker. Take, take it, y'all had a difference of opinion. Have I not told you before? This is the first I'm finding out you had a brother. Oh, you haven't been paying attention. You might have mentioned it back when Vatham was with the group. Oh, maybe. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. I stand by what I said. <laughs> so he was an asshole for a little bit? I don't know. Sure. That sounds accurate. He wasn't right. very nice. Well, to most can, people. We can he was nice to me. Alright, we can check the, uh, we can check, we can cover a lot of ground, because we're, we, we check the mountains and the wasteland for the most part, right? Well, it, Depends too, because if they want an area that's easily accessible, if they have a lot of people, wasteland makes sense because it's wide open. And mm -hmm. if they're depending on if they're surrounded by mountains like we were, it's easily defensible. Mm -hmm. And plus, you have the access, the low, the low points for access, so you can get it in and out easy. But they're choke points, so it's harder for people to get through because you can mm -hmm. kill more people concentrated numbers if they can't get through as easily. So maybe that's where they're at. Were you or on the top of the mountain. Oh uh, yeah, Were I you? should also mention the clouds at the very tall mountain to the southwest mm -hmm. uh, seem to be swirling around that very tall mountain. I but if say. I had to guess, that looks very eerie, so they might be there. Uh, that doesn't look natural. Yeah, it's almost like the clouds are being pulled and twisted around the mountain itself. Yeah, I feel like we need to go check that out. <laughs> to the southwest... Was I with them hmm? before when we before you joined up with us? Because you and your Craig Hammer. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I can't remember the timeline. Because you, I... you were. Go ahead. What was your question? I, I'm going to send it to you. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
you're, you're just trying to figure out where you were at the time you joined up with the party. Yeah. And what places you could have passed through. Or, or been around. That's yeah. kind of the the gist that I'm trying to gather. It's it's hard separating the timeline yeah. of when shit happened. Yeah, to be fair, a lot of shit happened off of this plane, too. Yeah. In a very short span of time. <clears throat> okay, that makes more sense. The, uh, the clouds on that mountain look familiar. Okay, check that one out at least. Well, isn't right. that where those people live that we met? We've been this close to the Ashari the whole time. Uh, you do not remember a mountain that tall being at the Ashari's. Okay. <laughs> it looks familiar, but it's not the same. Yeah. Okay. The, the uh, like, it does look like a similar thing because the Ashari had the... Uh, the storm that prevented anybody from entering their valley. Uh, but this looks a bit darker and more sinister. Cool. Oh, okay. And it, all, and it also stretches out uh, in every direction for many, many mm -hmm. miles. That's a safe place to start looking. I love that for us. Let's go. Alright, we tr we'll, we'll, we'll go. <laughs> Maybe not safe, but it's a good place to start. To yeah, find I was going to this is probably gonna be a pain in the ass to navigate, but we'll we'll check it out. <laughs> All right, let me just check something real quick. Yeah, Josh, for the most part, since I know this is, like, Shilk's whole deal, I'll have him stationed, like, at the map. So that if he, if anything rings a bell or helps him in any way, he can, like, reference that. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So. Um. As you guys are flying towards this mountain, uh, you get closer uh, after a few miles. Or not after a few miles, after a few hours. So many miles traveled in those hours. Um, and you notice as you get closer, the clouds actually seem to darken. <clears throat> And then, uh, mm -hmm. suddenly, um, Axiom, you yeah. sense a creature has appeared on the ship. There's something on the ship. There's a lot of us on the ship. There's, is it in the cargo bay? Where is it? Uh, it's in a cargo bay for a moment, uh, and then you sense it enter the vent. There's something in our vents. You'll oh. love to see it. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, is, do I have any method of like flushing this thing out besides turning on the AC? Uh, well, I mean... Right now, the AC is on because that's what allows people to breathe. It's circulating air throughout the uh, the ship because certain parts of the ship are airtight. And so, uh, mm -hmm. if you wanted to stop its travel through the vents, you could shut off the vents, but then mm -hmm. uh, 
said rooms that are um, Closed. airtight the doors are will have X amount of air in them until uh, the airways are reopened. So basically, I'd have to open, like, Grace's room and Goblin's room in order to seal this thing off. Yeah. Otherwise, you risk suffocating the goblins. Uh, Grace might be fine, because she's in a room by herself. But you got, like, several dozen creatures in one medium-sized room. <sighs> All right. I'll, at least, I'll open the doors and shut off the vents. All right. You open gonna the doors. Glove, the fucking, gonna have yeah. to tell Glove to fucking think quick. Uh, you don't get a chance to do anything with Glove because the uh, as soon as the door opens, you sense many creatures leaving that room and dispersing throughout the ship. Oh, good God. Uh, you also notice that, um, the creature in the vents, uh, was, seemed to have been fast enough to leave the vents before you sealed them off. So now okay, well. that creature is in a room, and, uh, as the goblins flood out through the ship... Uh, you lose track of where that creature is as it just seems to blend in with the goblins. God damn it. Can I just start sprinting around the ship? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, uh, boarding party. I'm like, to, I'm like, I'm 100. <laughs> like, sure. They're all hunting. I'm like, fuck yeah. you, go that way, I go this way. <laughs> um, I'm, gone. I'm, gone. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time describing the various acts that the goblins are doing in just about every <laughs> corner of this ship. Ah. Uh, but they are quite chaotic. Uh, oh, not not dirty or anything. And that's what you were thinking. It's not like that. But they they are little little balls of chaos. So they're, they're just... just graffiti. Yeah, they're just. <laughs> it's it's like that scene in Gremlins when they're all partying <laughs> after midnight. It's oh it's, god, it's that. the yeah. kitchen is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to round them up and tell them if they don't get back in the room, they're not getting food. All, All right, right, go, so a, go ahead. To herd cats. Go ahead and make an intimidation <laughs> check. Oh, I'll also say, I'll also say you can also just add if they don't act up, they'll get thrown out the side. Can and I also then, yell at goblins as I run past them, <laughs> looking for this? Uh, sure, make an intimidation check. Do I get mine at advantage for killing their friends? <laughs> uh you only have advantage against Glue. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause, yeah, because he's the only one that saw you do it. Oh, that's fair. I'm just gonna give myself advantage. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, that's something you can do. Um, so it, it's just Rowan and Shilk heading wow. out of the Ooh. ship, or is some anybody else Vanya. going out of the ship? Vanya as well. All right. So running out. Um, I mean, I can try to scare some goblins. <laughs> Herding cats. Look at us go. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Look at that sweet, sweet advantage. You, you know, I might as well. Gosh. I might as well use my luck blade. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> this is going great. I'm not gonna lie, Josh. I don't know why you try at this point. <laughs> um, because eventually I'll roll above a ten. <laughs> so, uh, Vanya, you at least succeed in making the goblins run away from you. However, you you aren't very successful in getting them back to the crew quarters. They're just now kind of like running away from you in whatever direction you're coming from. <laughs> you know what? That's fine with me. <laughs> They're um, smarter than I am, so... <laughs> yeah, uh, Shilk and Rowan, the two of you have uh, no success All in right. your endeavors. I'm running too fast, they don't hear what I'm saying. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> everybody else... Them out. <laughs> everybody so else, <laughs> who I believe are on the bridge... Um, mm -hmm. Uh, Cato says, it seems our visitor has joined us, turning towards the entrance to the, uh, the deck, which was opened when your three friends left. 
Wait, it got past the three of us leaving? Wow. Impressive. Yep. <clears throat> and as you all uh, turn to look, uh, you don't see anything. Mm -hmm. There's nothing standing there. I mean, yes, he's better. in front of us now, isn't he? Uh, no, coming from the back, fr from the uh, the entrance of the room, uh, you hear um, a slow, sarcastic clap. Oh no! And just seeming to kind of phase into existence. Oh, please go uh, away, Amu. You, it's not <laughs> Amu. Damn. <laughs> uh, you see what looks to be a uh, almost gaunt uh, tan man with uh, very long, flowing uh, white hair uh, wearing uh, a strangely tropical-looking outfit for this area um, as he seems to be just kind of floating in the air in front of you. And he says, Ah, I am impressed. Not many can see me when I am in my true form. Travelers, I ask you, why are you here? We are here looking for civilization that used to exist to the north of here. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting question. A civilization to the north. Honestly, in this whole endeavor, I have lost track of all of the different civilizations that have fallen to rubble. Which one was it? I'm going to assume you've seen my crew on the way here, haven't you? Yes, those strange, small, vile creatures. Not the small ones. The actual intelligent ones. The green one. The... Shook. Oh, the three that went running right past me as I sauntered in here? <laughs> okay, yeah, you those. fuck. <laughs> so I have an eight intelligence, I never clicked. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to assume you mean no harm as you've sauntered onto my ship. Hmm. Harm is a matter of perspective. What I come with you now is a warning. Turn this strange alien vessel away, or it will be blown out of the sky. Why can't why can't why can't people just be? <sighs> so I assume you have no recollection of the uh, people who used to live to the north, surrounded by the mountains. There are many people who live to the north, surrounded by mountains. I don't know which ones you speak. And honestly, I don't the green care. Tele the green I tell you now, comes. turn your ship around, or my master will destroy it. Where's Asher when you need him? <laughs> Where's that fucking idiot when you need him? Ah, <laughs> oh, you are friends of Asher. If that's the case, I don't know. That 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 relationship's a little tentative at the moment. You're not there. <laughs> I know. He's a pain that in the ass. That is quite yes, interesting. Of us I regret to inform you that your friend Asher is dead. Rex. Yeah. <laughs> Do 
if, to be fair, I have been gone a while, so this news says no, it doesn't help me. Now, how about we calm down and have a civil discussion planted right here? And you can catch me up on like 20 something years of history. <laughs> As fun as that sounds, I think I will pass on that offer. Now I say again, turn your ship around. This is your final warning. Alright. How do I know that you're not going to blow me away the moment I turn around? You don't. And with that... He just seems to fade back with a uh, slight gust of wind that fills this room that you're unsure where it came from, seeing how you are in an enclosed uh, airship. We will back up and start reversing, but I'm not turning my eyes away from that fucking cloud structure. All right, so you fly the ship backwards? Basically, yeah. Yeah, that that can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, several minutes later, uh, the three crew members who manage to get the goblins all together and not in a state of chaos um, return to the deck alright have you successfully herded the cats yes alright so good news bad news uh, good news there are people there. Bad news is, they're extremely territorial. The giant storm cloud was an indication of something like that, yes? More good news. They know about your eccentric druid friend. We have an eccentric druid friend? Talking about Asher. Yeah. And? They claim that he's dead. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't Washer just be gone then? Then you summoned him earlier. Yeah, he's Not still, necessarily. He's, he's still here. I've used my magic recently. As far as I know, that's not exactly how our magic works. It doesn't go away just because the person who gave it to us goes away. It's not they have to, like, divine magic. Don't they have to like, like call it off, whatever it is, like agreement y'all have or some shit? I mean, I can only and, speak like... for myself, but I don't really know if I could call what I had with Asher of exceptionally formal <laughs> agreement. <laughs> well, there's an easy solution to this problem. We just take our ship and go to the place and the Anaxium that I pointed out to you before we came here. Alright. I agree. We, we can at least check out the uh, wasteland while we're here. Seeing how those guys just want to be assholes. Yeah, let's just not go near them. Let's just turn around and go the other way. Yep. Or wherever it is we need to go. I don't know. You have the map. Yeah, that fucking... Uh, that, that wasteland that Mike told us about earlier. Yeah, it inlet. is actually uh, in the almost exact opposite direction that you had to go to get to this mountain. As you went Perfect. southwest from the edge of the mountain and where 
uh, Pelor pointed you to is northeast of that location. So, more going northeast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you said there was that wasteland with the inlets up to a river, I guess, is what you said it was? It's not a river. It's more of a bay. <laughs> We'll Do we go anywhere that. near that, going to where Paylor pointed us to go? Oh yeah, you'll definitely fly over that on the. Oh okay, perfect. Then we go that way. <laughs> yeah, we'll go. We'll if it lines up with Rowan's destination in mind, we can check that out. All right. And you guys start anymore. flying that way. Uh. Keeping an eye on the scary mountain covered with shifting black clouds as you head towards the northeast. And I think that's a good point for our break. Sounds good. So I'll send us to break, so we'll be back in about <laughs> 10, 15 minutes. So catch you guys then.
All right. So, come back to the party, traveling away from the sinister mountain of swirly black clouds. Uh, and you guys travel northeast for about another day. Um, and it's on this next day that you kind of cross over this, this bay of water that seems to come down through the continent from the north uh it mm -hmm. looks like very rough water uh down below you and um at the edge of the wasteland in the uh towards the northeast uh you see trees it looks to be uh almost like a pine forest hmm that could that could bear some Results. I scout around that area for any goblin-esque like structures. All right. So you're, on. you're flying, flying low towards the trees. Low enough that we can get like view, as like if there's any structures. Okay. Not, not to where we're gonna clip a tree or anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of like flying uh, on the southern edge of this forest. You don't see any structures. <sighs> but like as we're going through it, on the way toward this location that Rowan pointed out, we'll just pass by through it, check for structures. Sure. Eating. Yeah, it looks like a pretty uh, dense forest, so you don't really see any structures as you fly along. Um, and it's at the end of this day, uh, just as the sun uh, is starting to uh, dip towards the west, uh, when uh, off to the north you see the mountain range that uh, Paylor told rowing about um mm -hmm. not nearly as vast or grand as the mountain range you just left uh but a mountain range nonetheless uh and it seems to be stretching across the northern tip of this peninsula as mm -hmm. uh from your vantage point looking towards the east you see more ocean past the forest a question as we were going through nothing like popped up as like large clusters of people or like creatures on our scanners or at all uh i would say your scanners would pick up uh creatures but every time you kind of like focus in on a creature it's always like some kind of beast or other form of non-intelligent life all right Be like Shook, you have any theories? Anything that could help us here? I have a lot of theories. What theories of what? As to where these this tribe that we're trying to hunt down is located? On the ground. Aside from that. No. Because I would imagine that wasteland wasn't very big, though, was it? Uh, actually, the wasteland seemed to stretch on for miles in every direction to the south. Uh, like, past your field of vision as it goes as far as the horizon does. I mean, we could do, like, a sort of go to... I'm going to pass this off to... Vanya, if she has any, if maybe a combination of your ranger sense or whatever that is, plus the five miles of scanners we have, would that help us here? <laughs> what do you think? Maybe. I mean, I don't sense people. I sense animals and I sense fiends. That's. 
I can try, but I'd be like, do you think know. there's do you think there's spawner enough to have figured out how to tame an animal? <laughs> I mean, no. maybe. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm glad Shilk shot that down immediately. <laughs> I think they're smart enough to eat an animal. Probably not tame it. Alright. Well, we can at least go through the area on the scanner, sort of do a bit of surveilling, surveilling and then move on. Us eating a couple days doesn't hinder us that much, would it? <laughs> well, Rowan, you would know that the mountain range just ahead of the ship is the one that Pele, P Pele, Pele, <laughs> <laughs> that Paylor <laughs> told you about. Oh, we're gonna call right. Pele from now on. I mean, he's like show. Hey guys, you want to play some here. Super Smash Brothers Pele? I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was Pele? What did Pele point out to me? <laughs> Paylor told you the mountain range that just... the mountain range directly in front of the, the ship. That's the range that he told you about. If you go there, then all of your questions will be answered. I point out said mountain range to Axiom. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Good to know, uh I, I would like Shoot to get some closure here. It's like, what the fuck happened to his whole civilization? If you don't mind us, like, flying around, or at least checking out the surrounding area for a couple before we uh, move into the mountains. If, if that's what Shilk wants to do, then we can do that. It's your call, boy. That was a weird way of saying that. <laughs> if if we are here we might as well stop I mean we can fly around and see but I think the faster we get the idiots off the ship to stretch the better that's a good By point stretch, do you mean a band? Yeah. They're, they're getting really antsy they've been holed up for three days now <laughs> if I stretch, do you mean abandon and then take off? I don't think that's what that word means. Me. <laughs> Sanya, is that correct? Did he? No, no, I just thought about the ship. <laughs> well, that, that we can get them off the ship and we can wander and right. look. Axiom is implying he would like them off the ship in a more uh, permanent <laughs> manner. Oh. They're not causing any damage. Yet. I agree. It's been being... three days. They're, I think it's I think fine. I don't... I wouldn't go that far. I mean... Me <laughs> mechanically, they haven't caused any damage. <laughs> Cosmetically, they have definitely caused damage. It's fine, we can fix it. I, I give Kato the look of like... Wait, you, you, you see what I'm dealing with here? Uh, I have Kato refuses I to make help. eye contact with you. <laughs> Alright. He just becomes very, uh, very interested in one of the, uh... <laughs> one of the other stations. I was like, oh wow, this, this user interface is really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this user interface is very interesting for the fifth time in a row. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'm not going to get involved in this. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess we can investigate the surrounding area for a little bit. If there, nothing bears fruit, we can take off. <laughs> Wouldn't you typically find fruit in a bush or a tree? It's a, it's an expression, meaning when something... 
either we're going to if find something or we're not, and we're not going yeah. to learn anything from staying up here. Land the ship. Yeah. Landing. Putting the landing gear down first. Okay. Since Where I are you landing? That. I guess we're going to want an area... I'm going to look for something both... That gives us a bit of cover while also giving us enough room to land. That way nothing okay. immediately... That way it doesn't immediately fucking... Yeah. You know, say, hey, there's a structure here. Alright. Make a perception check. Alright. Yeah, you have to fly closer to the mountains, but you eventually find a a place where the uh the pine forest is not as dense and you find a clearing large enough that you think the uh the ship will uh land in. Alright. And so now as you go in for a landing, make this a time, general with, wisdom with, check. With the gear down this time. Yep. <laughs> Fifteen. All right. Yeah. You you do a uh, a pretty pretty okay landing. You're on target. Uh, it kind of bounces a little bit as you hit the ground, but uh, the 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 landing gear kind of absorbs the shock of that for the most part, other than jostling the ship a little bit. So not the smoothest landing, but. At least he didn't the crash one. this time. Yeah. So we'll take some time, scout out the surrounding area, see if there's anything goblin esque around. Okay. Um. So, how exactly are you looking for goblin esque marking? Just, just looking like in the surrounding trees. So, like a perception check. Are you looking for tracks? Be survival. What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna look for tracks. All right. Yeah. I. Yeah. I assume let the ranger take the lead on this one. <laughs> Tracking I, is kind of your thing. I'm looking for tracks. All right. Um. Okay. You do not find any goblin tracks. Um, you do find... Uh, not, not, a, not tracks, but like um, evidence that uh, something has moved through the area, like a person has moved through the area. Is you find like a like a broken uh, tree branch with like a small bit of cloth on it, uh, kind of like ripped off. Of Did they leave a trail I can follow? Uh, no, no. That's that's the only evidence you could find of uh, a person's presence. What's am I able to get an indication if it was like a medium-sized person or a small-sized person? I'd say, judging by uh, where the branch is situated, uh, you would guess medium size, uh, unless unless the person uh, was into turbans or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> like a small a small creature with a turban might have done it, but most likely a medium creature. Okay. So probably not a goblin. <laughs> probably not a goblin. <laughs> or a goblin in a turban, one or the other. <laughs> uh, okay, I will report that back. Uh, I didn't mm -hmm. find any traces of goblins, but someone's moved through here. But they didn't leave a trail I could follow. Just some... Can I have grabbed the cloth while I was there? Yeah, like it's not like a like a piece of cloth. It's just like a more like a string, honestly. Okay. Yeah, just a <laughs> small bit of blue string. 
still grab it. <laughs> yeah, sure. But aside from that, nothing. Nope. That's it. Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, now what? All right, off the ship. Off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> All the goblins uh, leave the ship and just uh, go running off in random directions to do their business. I don't like, I'm gonna go in and just press and digitate everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, just, just... I was gonna say grab a mob, but press and digitation works too. <laughs> I don't suppose having... something of a creature would help with a locate creature. <laughs> What? Want to try that question again? I don't suppose having something that was from that creature would help with a locate creature. Uh, no. No, that doesn't help. That's that's more in the vein of, like, a scry spell. Hmm. Yeah. Fair. Also an option. At some point, I'll get to I'll get back together with Shilk after he's done prestidigitating the room. It's like Is there anybody that you know who might still be around from your civilization? No. Nobody who could have survived uh, for 10 years, give or take. Getting that shit storm? See, you, you, you had nothing? I mean, I the mean, only it's... real person I could think of would be my brother, could, but he likes killing people. So, you, you, you know, there's... I guess if, if he would be the most likely candidate. Hmm. But you know, I... nobody else comes to mind. Uh, ten years of fighting that hostile of an environment, I I don't imagine. So outside of anybody you know, your brother is probably the only one you can think of. Yeah. I can try a we can try a scry there's a chance we m might get an eye on him maybe depends we'll see that's if he's alive right I That that's if he's alive. I can try it. Either that or a locate creature. I'm willing to at least try this guy. Oh, I mean, a locate creature is, has a range of a thousand feet. A scry has a range of the entire plane. At least if, at least if, if this goes through, we'll, we'll at least know he's around and then if he's alive, locate him. And then we can lead him into it. Depends. Sounds like a plan.
right? So, Axiom, are you casting Scry? Yeah, I'm going to try it. All right. Do you have a focus worth at least a thousand gold, such as a crystal ball, a silver mirror, or a font filled with holy water? <sighs> Damn, we should have picked up that mirror from the cave. That was not worth a thousand gold. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look like a prisoner fresh out of prison with the clothes on his back and two swords has a font filled with holy water? or And a arms. magical set of armor. And... You're not helping. <laughs> Just saying, don't say I never give you anything. Yeah, I know. So, no, I don't have it. Fuck. God, why can't... And it's not like I can fucking cast this through the fucking ship either. Like I could with plane ship. No. No. That is a specific function of the ship meant to travel everyone on the ship. Large mm -hmm. spans of space. Mm -hmm. It is much different. In that case, we could do the old, uh... We'll try the old locate creature. Try to locate the brother of Shulk. At least that I can do with my holy symbol. Yep. All you need is a name. Do you have a name for this brother? Well, he has a name, but I didn't give it to him. <laughs> the ass. Uh, in the ass. What is his name? It's such a fucking like, uh, like like a fucking gymnast routine just to talk to Phil. <laughs> like jumping through understand. hoops. Like jumping through hoops does not even begin to. It's a whole fucking routine. His name is Boggin. Boggin. All right. Do I need like a surname or just a first name will work? Depends on how common Boggin is amongst <laughs> Shilk's people. Not very common. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you, Boggin is, should be enough. Alright. Alright. We will try to locate Boggin. Alright. You try to locate Boggin. He is not within a thousand feet of you. Do we at least get a direction? No. It's not how the spell works. <sighs> okay, so he's not within a thousand feet. Fuck. Although, uh, because I just thought of it, uh, mm -hmm. locate creature, you would be able to uh, cast that through the ship to use the ship sensors to locate a specific creature. So that would expand your range out to about 25 miles. All right. That gives us that gives us something. We we'll try through the ship. within 25 miles. Yeah, if he's within 25 miles. That's, that's still a fucking distance. That's like yes, 25 that's 25 thousand. miles in every direction. <laughs> yes. I feel like you're about to give me a there's a, there's a catch, isn't there? Uh I feel like I would a catch. I would say you would have to spend another spell slot because uh just concentrating on it and uh jumping into the ship is wouldn't be enough. You would have to yeah, cast that's it why I'm, through that's why I'm marking it off twice. Okay, cool. Then yeah, as you jump back into the uh the helm and cast it again uh, opening up uh, your your scanner to <laughs> its 
outer limits of 25 miles, you get no response back as mm. Boggin is not within 25 miles. All right, that at least gives us something. And then we still have a whole hour of this, right? Unless I spent the entire hour just fucking... I mean, technically, but like... Even traveling in the ship, in an hour, you'll travel six miles, so you'll get like... An extra six miles of coverage in one direction if you decide to do that. I think we may have to come back to this. Why? Wow, we're one. already here. Why would we leave? You know what I mean? The, 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 the investigation into your civilization another time. You're very confusing. <sighs> Is that something you're okay with? You being confusing? No, I'd rather you be straightforward. Us coming back to this, figuring out what the fuck to do with your civilization. Why would we stop? It seems like we could just keep going at odd intervals. That's what I mean. Well, why didn't you say that? Uh... <laughs> Uh. Well, in the meantime, would anyone else like to do anything in this area? Seeing how the the other person who has a personal side quest in the area has is, is having Discord problems. <laughs> anyone? Anyone? Bueller? 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 <laughs> Unless we really want to get attached to this and keep looking. I mean, I, a... I mean, I, I gave you 25 miles in every direction. You're not going to find them tonight. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be like a multi-day process. Yeah, I recommend uh, looking, thinking a bit more outside the box to find clues about this guy. Instead of just trying to search the entire continent with a little 25 mile radius bubble <laughs> of detection. Because that's going to take a while. Uh. Okay, question, Shulk. Uh, if your brother is left to his own devices, let's say for an extended amount of time, what damage do you think he could do to your civilization? No more than already been done. Like, did he have, like, any desire for power, conquest? Like, what What were his goals? What were his motives? No. Power. Conquest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, power, conquest, that about sums him up. But not against, he, he, not against his, our, our own people. He was very defensive of our civilization like did he I, uh... I think the word you're thinking of is protective nope hmm. okay <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... all right fine well, he's <laughs> his own language but... so um <laughs> protective yes <laughs> so let's see uh Keep going. Wait, let's say you... Like, were you like... like what position did you have in this, civil, this overarching civilization? Like, where did you rank and where did he rank? <laughs> uh, I rank below my father, and he ranks below my father. Uh, we are equal in power, uh, which is next to none. Mm hmm. And I'm assuming your father held all the power. Is what yes. you're probably getting to. Okay. So let's say. As, as much power as one man can have. Okay. So which one of you, let's just say. Was he born before or after you? Like, 
you see like older, younger, who's in line to take the throne after after your father's out of the way. Oh, we're twins. Which one was born first? Which one was born second? I don't know. I cannot remember. But let's say you're indisposed for a significant period of time. Well, then he would take over because I'm indisposed. Yeah. And do you have any idea of what his what his moves would have been? I also feel like Shilk's hometown was more of a democratic society. It was. Yeah. So <laughs> if if Dad died, the sons don't take over. A new leader is voted in. <laughs> Shilk's just rolling with it at this point. <laughs> Well, just wanted to make sure we were on the same page, Jeff. Nope. <laughs> well, let's just say he has his way and he gets in, he somehow finds himself in a position of power. What's his move going to be? Well, I feel like everybody would have to come to the same agreement that he would be the next person. But mm -hmm. I feel like they people like others a lot more than him. So I, I guess if he was the, the only person left, maybe he would have solitary rule like was he uh, is he exclusively he, like power hungry he doesn't eat power no <laughs> not what I mean <laughs> he didn't he didn't have... me. <laughs> uh... <laughs> a gymnast routine doesn't even begin <laughs> fucking <laughs> Describe how a fucking conversation with Shulk is. You're using so many new words and terms. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Back into character. Okay. <laughs> oh, he. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I guess was did he have? Like a very strong desire to lead, is what I'm saying. <laughs> that I he mean, should you, be the one led an charge. army. Does that count? Okay, so is it possible for him to, let's just say, overthrow your dad? I suppose. Is that something that you could see him doing? <laughs> No, I didn't see it happen. Is it something that you could predict could happen? Maybe if I was better at predicting things, but I don't really think that's something he would do. Did he ever have a difference of opinion against your father? Well, in my Just society, people are allowed opinions. Josh, I think I'm going to have to make a homebrew rule about you using uncanny dodge in conversation. <laughs> At this rate, fucking shit would be a politician. <laughs> Point! <laughs> it's just like, god damn, you have it. The amount of fucking <laughs> evading the questions. <laughs> now you're uh, getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Did he ever think that he could roll better than your dad? No. Differently, okay. but not better. Did he ever think that his way was going to be better? I feel like you just asked that question. So I'm trying to make sure. So in other words, no. In the same words, no. Okay. So we have... So we... Okay. Oh, I see the point you're trying to make. Okay, you, you think my brother might have destroyed my civilization. I wasn't explicitly saying it, but I just didn't want to rule it out. I'm, I'm, I started to catch on. 
about five minutes ago. Uh, no. He was protective, but not destructive. Is there anybody that you know that would have been destructive? No. Well, Amu was kind of destructive, but we met him much later. <laughs> okay. Okay, that at least helps us out in that direction. But I feel like of anybody of my kin... No. Okay. And nobody that you... know outside of your kin that could have also caused this. I think there's a lot of people outside of my kin that could have caused this. Feel like any powerful fiend or undead or celestial or mutant creature, god, you, me, Atham, Kato. Whoa. Rowan? I'm just, I'm just curious. <laughs> like, okay, now I'm curious. Uh, out of, is, does ev how common is your type of magic among your people? Like, your type where it just does weird shit on occasion. Define weird. Directly fireballing yourself. Oh, I was gonna say randomly growing, but... I guess fireballing yourself is also a good example. Uh, at, time, at time you turned blue. I'm still blue. Or turned into a plant. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the time you turned into a plant, that was a weird one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I wasn't there for that one. That was during our circus act. What? Long, <laughs> long story. <laughs> Long story that apparently I'm also going to Visible about. confusion. Uh, <laughs> uh, as far as I know, I'm the only one. You, 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 you're the only one who does that breed of magic. I'm the only one that unwillingly fireballs himself. <laughs> I suppose well, like, somebody else could probably do it willingly. But you know what I mean, like, where, like, unforeseen magic just happens to you. Well, I'm sure if somebody could predict the future, they could foresee it. <sighs> God. I'm loving this. This is great. I'm so happy he's the only character having this conversation because Gash would have slid his wrist by now. <laughs> Vanya's only like half paying attention. She's sitting on the ground playing with Watcher. Also, I'm just going to put it out there that while this conversation is happening, in the back of his mind, he she started taking off. Good thing we gathered all the goblins. <laughs> Did we? I mean, I, I'd imagine so. I oh, definitely would have. <laughs> Alright, well, since you're starting to leave, I should probably go get the goblins. Is there any way to double time this mic? You guys get the goblins back. God damn it. <laughs> Yay, we double timed it. <laughs> uh, don't quite think so that what is I, what Nestor meant. So what if I just start training Watcher to herd goblins? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh that doesn't work out too well because the goblins <laughs> try to eat Watcher. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> That's, I could have seen it. Yeah. Yeah. This raid, we will go into the mountain range because I'm not. Mm. 
trying to get any clues from Shilk is like trying to ask a politician a blunt question. I wouldn't know. I've never tried to do that. You gotta be sharper than that. I wish I knew what was going on. <laughs> I've been dodging this question, question for the past know. half hour. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, you haven't missed any uh, pertinent oh, information. Excellent. Good to know. Uh, we landed, and Shilk's brother is not within 25 miles of us, and that's all you've missed. He might cool. be dead. We don't know. Do, do we want to just go and come back? That's basically what I'm... That's, that's the plan at this point. Oh, I also found somebody- I found some sort of movement in the woods. No clue who. No clue what exactly. Not goblin. But they were wearing something that was... I feel like that's something we should have investigated. There weren't any oh. other tracks. Damn, I wish I would have known. I would have just run after it. <laughs> there weren't- the, all I saw was a- some broken branches and some- some thread. At the approximate height of a medium-sized creature. But or there a were small no creature other... wearing a turban. <laughs> or a small creature <laughs> small wearing creature a turban. <laughs> there were no yeah. tracks to follow. That seems weird. It was weird. Yeah. And if we had, I don't know, say, uh, a folk is worth a thousand gold, or a crystal ball, or a silver mirror, or a font filled with holy water. We could probably have figured out who that belongs to. I feel like, as a holy person, you probably should have something like that. Yeah. I probably would. If I wasn't recently broken out of prison. It wasn't recently. It was recent. like, that. like ten years ago. Unless one of you knows, unless one of you has something that I could fill with holy water to make a focus, we're I mean, not going to be able to subscribe. Do you I have a cup. Need, like, do you just need like a bowl? We have a kitchen. You would need a bowl worth a thousand gold. <laughs> do you have a very expensive bowl worth a thousand gold? No. I don't suppose the sink in this ship is worth more than a thousand gold. Nope. I mean, I doubt anything survived, but we had expensive bowls back at home. I don't hey, know what they're back. worth. <laughs> uh, go all the way the fuck back there for a bowl? <laughs> nope. Absolutely not. <laughs> Might not or may not be worth a thousand gold? Nope. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> not worth a thousand gold. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. I think we head towards wherever it is Rowan has been yeah. with us, and at this maybe point, we'll find something there you can use. At this point, yeah, we're going that direction. <laughs> at this point now, just fl fl flying the ship is mostly subconscious, where it's just like, take off, go in that direction. <laughs> okay, so you guys are flying into the mountains? Mm-hmm. Yes. I, it sounded like you guys were uh, walking into the map. <laughs> but yeah, you guys can fly, it's fine. I mean, believe me, I'd, I'd, I'd gladly also open a door and the cargo hole and just let the goblins fly themselves <laughs> out. <laughs> so mean to our swarm of goblins. Jeez. So, um, you guys go flying towards the uh, towards the mountains um, it's a little hard to see as it is the middle of the night do you, Rowan do you know what we're looking for I can't remember what did, what did what did Pele tell me about what we were looking for <laughs> god um, damn it he said that you were looking for a temple within the mountains. 
somewhere in the distance, Paylor's eye is just twitching. <laughs> Um, um, we're looking for a temple. All right, a temple in the mountains. That narrows it down. I don't think there's going to be very many. Is there, like, did he say of what, like, denomination of faith? Is it his? Is it somebody else's? Um, well, the person that we're going to find there, or people, I think it was person, I don't quite remember, but... Um, we'll have the answers we seek. And I look over at Vanya when it comes to Asher. Sorry, I didn't mention it before. I mean, I think we all have a lot of questions at this point. This is... Essentially, this this is basically mm -hmm. Paylor cheating because they're not supposed to, you know, go poking around each other's business. So he couldn't outright tell me answers to questions I had. So he's sending us mm -hmm. to someone who can. So this will probably be your best shot at anything you've ever wanted to know. You know, that, 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 is, that is fair. That is fair. It... I don't know what I want to know at this point. Yeah, there's, you know, there's a lot. So You know, there's, there's a lot I'd like to know whole 20 years worth of knowledge I'd like to know. <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I don't know if he knows everything. Uh, this was specifically Asher related, so. At least I know if Vasselheim is still standing, I could at least ask somebody there what the fuck happened. Mm -hmm. Do you think it even matters at this point, Rowan? I mean, he might not actually be dead. We don't know for sure. And even then, there's still, there's all sorts of questions, like what was behind that door? Paylor couldn't tell me, but this person can. It's like, like everything we've ever, like why mm -hmm. Amu, well not, I guess he wasn't really Amu at the time, was down, you know, in the water, on that pillow, everything. Every question we've ever had, apparently oh, thought, we'll be able to. I thought we knew why he was down there. Yeah, probably, but you know, just... Also, what to do about that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to look to Kato for a second. Just like, did you only break me out to deal with that fucking pit fiend thing? Was that it? Or do you have some other plan that you're sticking around for? That's a question I'd also like the answer to. Like what's what's your agenda here? Because that's a complicated question. Can you give me like? Can you t just a yes or no to an over to an overarching agenda here? You're not gonna like stab me in the kidneys and take this place over, are you? I'm not going to kill you, Axiom. But I wouldn't say I have a plan either. Just I'd say because you're hanging out and winging it is what I'm hearing. You'd be surprised how much I do is improvising. No, I think we've at least this is the DM speaking at this point. <laughs> that, line, that lines up with what we know about <laughs> about Kato pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Seems legit. Yeah. But the, the, this is targeted specifically towards Axiom, who does not know Kato that well. True. Mm hmm. All right. It's mostly That's the whole Kato's Amu thing at this long. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't funny. had a reason to leave yet. <laughs> To be fair, after the whole Amu thing, you don't blame me for being suspicious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, he's only left you guys twice. The first time was because he worked better alone and he wanted to protect you guys. The second time was because it was a personal matter. Has it really mm -hmm. only been twice? It feels like it's been so many more times. It's just because they were both very memorable. 
<laughs> this conversation has also just been happening while we're flying into these mountains. I mean, yep. yeah. What else would we be doing? Hovering? Well, as you guys <laughs> look for a temple in the mountains at night in a flying ship, go ahead and make perception checks at disadvantage. Dink. Memes. <laughs> I love that you roll. Hey, yeah, I rolled above a ten. Nice. Hey, look at us go! <laughs> My God, we're killing that. it! Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Taylor. Man, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, man, neither Appar- one was a net twenty. <laughs> so, so apparently, if Mike wants Josh to fail at anything, he just has to give him advantage. I guess, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have to do that. I give it to myself. <laughs> All right. Well, Godfather. <laughs> As everybody's having this conversation, uh, you do notice uh, a part of the mountain that does not look natural. It looks uh, a bit more kind of formulaic, like somebody had carved some stone in a specific way. That might be it. Alright. Go near there, get a closer look. Yeah, you see, as you as you fly closer, after Shoke points it out to you, it does look to be like some kind of large structure, but in the dead of night, it's still hard to see. Um, Kato a- wish- asked you, does this thing have any, like, lights on the outside of it? Better check for some headlights. <laughs> You check. There are lights. However, they were damaged in the in the most recent crash. How how far away are we from this? Um, in the last, I'll just tell weird... them that they were they were damaged in the last crash. <laughs> All right, hold on. I think I got something for this. Uh, and <laughs> he's uh, just gonna go out to the front and fix a bulb. No, Kato is going to cast a spell, and you watch as a. Uh, small miniature sun appears at the bow of the ship uh, <laughs> lighting up the immediate area as Kato casts daylight. Kanye just quietly puts an arrow back in her quiver as she thought about shooting one with the light spell attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. You also, have to, you also have to climb on top of the ship. Just do it. <laughs> Certainly not the dumbest. We never thought it was a well thought out plan. <laughs> so with the uh the daylight spell cast, uh you can now get a good look at this temple. Uh it's a large uh monumental uh structure um very reminiscent of like a ziggurat. Uh, and you see kind of carved into the work stone of this ziggurat, uh, many markings depicting, uh, Ayun, the knowing mistress. Does it bear, any of this bear resemblance to the temple we went to ages ago? Uh, it is quite similar, actually. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, that one was a bit bigger than this one, uh, as it was more of like a, um, well, a temple. It was it was a large kind of like multi-structured temple with like different buildings for different purposes. Mm-hmm. Uh, this looks just to be a single ziggurat. Mm-hmm. Um, I mentioned that to the group. You guys remember that uh that big temple we went to? That's where we found out about. Ooh, that was a long time ago. The giants we had to go... F- we we became giants for a little bit. In, oh, in a- yeah. 
What? That was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to catch me and Kato up here. Drop it all. So. I am also unfamiliar. Kato, I feel like you're the one that sent us there. Well, yeah, but I didn't go with you. Once no. we, once we, once we found it, I went off after the elf. Yes, I remember. Uh, no, we went inside. We. Okay, let's oh yeah, good time. Flips through her notes, trying to remember the order. Yeah, that I just, I don't, rem I, I don't remember you ever telling me that you guys became giants at one point. I mean, oh, we had yeah. like a we had like a dream memory. It was like sequence. this really, really crazy like fever dream, and we all yeah. became different kinds of giants, and it was it was I interesting. Never moved those notes into my new notebook. All it says Oof. is the Temple of Axiom on there. <laughs> That's all it says. Don't even know where that notebook went. Um, yeah, isn't that a little ironic? It is. Yeah. Uh, that is a little funny. Uh. We talked to a sphinx, if I'm remembering mm -hmm. correctly. Yep. Yep. And that's how we knew how to find the rod pieces that we would then break and release Asher. This makes sense that they would then mm -hmm. know <laughs> this tracks. <laughs> yep. So I'm assuming we might find something similar inside. Did it? Um, Different character, but yes. No, if, didn't if what you're asking, didn't Ramona die? Yeah. This is when yep. Ramona drowned. Yep. <laughs> that's when, that's when yeah, we really don't need to reminisce. That was, that was Kayla. That was Kayla saying that. <laughs> I mean, you don't okay. have to worry about Saga drowning. Oof. Yes, this is this is true. Yep. That's that's when she developed a crippling fear of water. Yep. A very valid crippling fear of water. Alright, well, then I certainly think we're going to get answers in here. We got them All right. the last time we were somewhere similar. Is there enough room for me to put this ship down? Uh, yeah. This uh, temple seems to be carved out of the side of the mountain with enough of a uh, plateau to lay the ship down right in front of the temple. Alright. We'll plop them right there, landing gear down, which apparently I have to specify. <laughs> you, you don't have to specify anymore. It was just a fun <laughs> little fuck you because it was a new thing. <laughs> God damn you. Because it was just like a fun little, ah, he didn't think of a landing gear. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, yeah. Go ahead and make a wisdom check as you go to land the ship at night. 24? Right. Yeah, that's plenty. Plus, it wasn't really that difficult because you had Kato's daylight spell to help you. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, at what point will it count as proficiency with this ship after flying it for a while? It's going to take a while. Like a couple hundred days, yeah. Yeah. I am in so much debt learning how to fly vehicles. <laughs> you do not understand. <laughs> oh, God. Until anyway. We're alone, but... Anyway. You land the ship. Uh, this time it's a much softer landing as you're able to kind of. Uh, judge the distance of the ground and just kind of lightly rest on the landing gear before uh, cutting the power. Good. I love I love that it's gotten... I love that the, the roles have gotten better when it's in more difficult situations. <laughs> Land at a clearing? Six. Land on the side of a mountain? Twenty-four. Yeah, it also, like, matches with, like, as you do it more, your landings are going to become better, so. Right. Anyway, you guys have made it to the temple. You know what? 
Shulk, I think this is a perfect time for you to put your goblins on guard duty. That sounds like a terrible idea. I couldn't even trust one of them to do it. Oh, just like tell them, again. just... <laughs> just like have them sit outside the ship and tell them to just guard it. If they fall off the side of the mountain, that's their loss. I feel like you weren't paying attention to what I just said. I mean, do you want to clean up after their mess again? Somebody's gonna have to. Also, has anybody checked in with Grace? You guys have been getting her food. She's fine. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming you sure. guys have been feeding your your people. Yeah, I'm assuming yeah. Saga makes food for people. Yeah. So yeah, you've you've checked yeah. in with her whenever you fed her, so she is doing fine. Uh still very distraught about her situation. But but it it's improved no more than a usual. little bit. She's no more distraught than usual. <laughs> All so, right. You guys heading so, to check out the uh, the temple then? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um. So you all leave the ship. And move towards the entrance to the temple. You see this kind of uh, sloping rampway leading up to a big uh, opening in the side of the ziggurat leading into the interior of it. And... As you walk in, uh, you find the int uh, interior of the ziggurat seems to just be a large, uh, singular open room uh, where there is uh, what looks to be a pool of clear water in the center of the room. And there is a uh, <clears throat> worked stone, a carved uh, stalactite-like uh, structure uh, coming down from the ce uh, ceiling to a point where a uh, slow drip of water falls from, uh, periodically disrupting the peace within the clear pool of water on the gonna walk towards the pool of water. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go with. Mm -hmm. Alright, the two of you walk up to the pool of water. I'm gonna cast Detect Magic. Alright. Uh, you cast Detect Magic and uh... I would say you do not sense anything magical coming from the pool of water. Okay. Well, it seems the just last time. normal. Go ahead. I was going to say, it just seems like a normal pool. 
now that we're closer to it, does there seem to be anything unusual? Um, it depends on what you consider unusual. Is there like any any writing? Does it look like it's a like a curve, like a like somebody carved out this pool of water? Oh yeah, yeah. The pool of water. Uh, it is a um basin that is clearly carved into the ground. It is not a uh naturally eroded basin. It is okay. It is man-made. Is there any writing of some any kind? There is not. So, what happened the last time you were in one of these? It'd be really great if I could remember. <laughs> Amity, did we did we touch the water last time? Should I touch the water now? It'd be great if somebody had a keen mind at this point. <laughs> It'd be great if Kayla knew where her notes were, is really what would be... Well, you do remember there being a pool of water uh, at the last temple. Yeah. However, uh, that pool of water had a long tunnel that you could clearly see looking into it, that it, it went right. down for a bit before curving and going perpendicular, or not, going parallel to the ground. Yeah. Uh, this, this pool of water uh, looks to be barely three inches deep. Okay. I'm going to lean a little closer to Amity and say, do you think I should just touch it? I think you should just touch it. Okay, I'm going to reach out and just, like, gently... I think that you should keep your hands to yourself. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you, and you see... My hand back. <laughs> standing on the other side of the pool of water uh, looks to be a uh, elderly-looking woman. Very large in build. Uh... From that, you're able to guess that she is a Goliath, as you have met a Goliath before with Fathom. Uh, a Goliath woman, uh, leaning on a staff for support, uh, yet even in her uh, gaunt form with her old age, she does still look quite strong. Why have you come we're looking for answers. And many come to this temple. Look, the question is if you are worthy of gaining answers to the question. I'm tired of not having answers to what I follow. I'll do what it takes to get them. I hope so. Just just curious, Mike. In my past experiences with anyone from Ayun's religion, do the does I mean, it normally always involve a test? <laughs> uh it is very often a test included in their practices. Um, you you would know that the the temple to Ayun in Vasselheim uh, was quite secretive. They they oh, mostly just... kept to themselves. Uh, their delegate for um, like council meetings uh, usually didn't say much. Uh, although you one one could say that they they were always in perfect attendance. They just never really. Uh, they they never contributed much to conversations of the good of the city. More, they just wanted to right. be informed on the goings on of the other churches. But uh, but, they, but there were tests involved if you wanted to know anything. <laughs> yeah. 
just gonna which uh all right which this kato would I actually had... say oh look another test <laughs> yeah, we've yeah. Been, here. We've been here before yeah, yeah same. Before. like okay this, this this is not uncommon but god damn it you've wait you've been here before too not this specific temple well, i figured not this specific temple <laughs> Now, uh, a while back, before I, knew, I met you guys, I had to complete a test uh, at the temple in Vasselheim, actually, in order to gain access to their records. It was actually yep. there that I first started to notice some inconsistencies with the background of the arch heart. Yeah. Makes sense. Honestly, this it, it, it's just I find them tedious. Is it? <laughs> what test do you have for us? The test. It is, how we say, multiple choice, a test of intention. Many have drank from the well of knowledge. Many have got insane from the knowledge they receive. What you intend to do with said knowledge will decide whether you are worthy of said knowledge. Drink at your own peril. So I got so I got a limit how many people could do this. As many as would wish to take the trial. Well, Vaji, you're up first. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'm tired of half answers and half truths and of following blindly. I'd like to have answers. Mm hmm. The Goliath woman gestures for you to drink. Is is there like a cup or can I just use my hands? <laughs> What's the... Can I get a sense from... <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you being that awkward person <laughs> who's just like, do I just... Do I just drink with my hands or... Like she's like... definitely like looking around for like a cup of some kind. You do not see a cup lying around nearby. Uh, she'll look back up at the Goliath. Uh, is it alright if I just drink from, like, cup some of the water in my hands, or is there a protocol to this? She just stares at you pensively. <laughs> alright! This is the daggers of judgment. Vanya doesn't have manners, so... <laughs> she'll... I guess kneel down, because it's in the floor, right? Yep. Uh, she'll kneel down, she'll look back up at Amity, and she says, If I pass out, will you make sure I don't fall in the water? I will do my best. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like the fucking, like... drowns in Korean water? <laughs> <laughs> you can! Oh my yeah. god! It has happened. <laughs> oh. I mean, you pass out... <laughs> Gonna do like the friend who's drunk in the bathroom for a help. Amity, will you hold my hair? No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, so she'll she'll kneel down and she'll scoop some of the water up in her hands and she'll drink from it. All right, you do so, and immediately as you drink the water, you feel yourself being pulled away from this place 
and you find yourself standing in a white void. Strange objects flitting back and forth past you. You're una unable to make make out what these objects are as you are just standing in emptiness. And then you hear a voice enter your mind. A female voice. Not the same voice as the Goliath woman. A different voice. Almost older. Yet softer. And the voice says Why do you seek knowledge? I want to protect my friends. And the absence of knowledge I have keeps pulling them into danger. tired of putting ill into the world. I want to start actually putting some good in it. Almost as if the area around you gets slightly more focused, you notice that uh, the void starts to fill up with strange shapes, rectangles. The objects still flitting around also seem to be kind of vague, blurry rectangles. And the voice enters your mind again. And it says... Knowledge is a knowledge is a two sided blade. Can you be sure that the knowledge you seek will make your life better? Or will the knowledge ruin the world you have come to know. I think it's hard to be sure of anything. But I have already seen my cost of not knowing. I am willing to take the risk to know. My world has already been ruined once. I can stand it again. You see the vague rectangular shapes start to focus even more the larger shapes to either side of you becoming walls the strange objects flitting back and forth flapping like almost like they have wings and the voice enters your mind once again and it says the one you follow once sat in a very similar place as you sit now 
how will you be different? I'll rely on my friends. I am better because of their influence. I don't intend on ever walking alone again. I don't think they'd let me at this point. You watch as the the shapes come into even more focus and you you actually start to notice what they are. The walls on either side of you seem to depress and are filled with small objects, book books lighting the walls bookcases on either side of you. The area above, the bookcases seem to stretch up into a ceiling of more bookcases. The strange objects flitting and flapping around. More books being moved around constantly, like sentient pigeons being moved around from place to place, sending messages you realize you're standing not in a void anymore, but in a library. And you watch as one of these bookcases moves in front of you, revealing a desk. Sitting at the desk is an elderly woman with a soft face and a knowing smile. And she says, please, come closer. Ask your question. And with that, we're going to end tonight. Oh, thank God. I had no clue what I wanted to ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a good, uh, good week. Uh, maybe more if... My schedule stops us from playing next week, as as it often does. So you have plenty of time to come up with your question. Quick question, Mike. This is just about your scheduling. <clears throat> does it seem yeah. to happen like every other week? So if that is the case, then maybe we should move this game to every other week? Or is you just want to keep trying it for every week? It's it's so random. Oh, it's it's random. Yeah. Okay. It's, it, it, it literally just depends on... If I'm working in town or out of town, and uh, it's it's never the same days of the week. It's like this was a good week. I I work in my my hometown uh, four out of the five days a week, but okay. last week I worked out of town all but one. So okay, I just thought I'd ask because just just in case it was something that you had to do repeatedly and. It was like almost like a schedule thing that we could just change it. But if it's random, that's fine. We'll just play it by ear every week. Yeah, and I I wish I could. I, my schedule was more reliable, but it just isn't. And like, depending on like the situation, I might be able to like push myself to play anyway. Uh, even if I do have to be up uh, four hours after the game ends. Um. <laughs> But that also depends on how I'm feeling on that day. If I if I have like a, a rough day at work that Wednesday, then I'm not gonna want to play. If I'm gonna have to get up early the next morning anyway. Fair enough. But on that note, I will end the stream here so we don't take this too long. So we thank you for watching, and we will catch you possibly next week. Good night. Bye. Good night.